when Tao and Valila Watla came to my office about a week ago, 10 days ago, and asked me, where am I tonight? I said, I'm in the Eastern Cape at our new project there that we're developing called Crossways Farm Village. And he said, well, we'd like you to be here in Neusner. And I said, for what? And they said, well, Tabo's launching his foundation. I said, well, then I'll drop everything that I've got there and come here. So we drove back this afternoon from the, from, from the development there, just 25 minutes this side of Port Elizabeth. I'm happy. I'm very honored to be here tonight. I'm very, I'm really honored to be here tonight because it's almost 13 years ago. It was September 2000 when we launched uh, the Teeson Island development in the, in the middle of uh, bad economic times and in and, 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 and the middle of a lot of failure of waterfront developments. But I believe that it will work. And, and then as we started and as we launched, Cedric, Cedric, put up your hand. I want to show the Tower's <laughs> father. Cedric and Valile Watla came to my office. And we started talking about sponsoring or helping Nice Number Fana team. And we talked about it, and we talked about it, and we said, fine, uh, we, we make a plan, but we want to do something. So we started with the Bafana team, and then I might not have all my facts correct, but they played in the league, and they were like at the bottom of the league. <laughs> and uh, they had to go drive to Oatswaran and Cape Town and Riversdale and all the places and play. And because the money was short, they had to play on a Saturday and a Sunday. They go to Cape Town, they play Saturday and Sunday, and they just sleep over and they come back. And we decided, and I talked to my partners, and we decided to, to help and contribute, and we bought track suits and kit bags and balls and supported the team here. My son-in-law even played with, with the team there. And <clears throat> as we kept on supporting, all of a sudden the next year they were three up or two up on the log. And they said, well, you know, when we play there on Saturday and we sleep on Sunday, the guys don't even have place to shower or sleep. I said, okay, well, let's add more money. And then they stayed in hotels and, and whatever. And all of a sudden, by the end of, and I think that was September 2000, the leader said, right, Cedric? Yes. It was about September yes. 2000. And, and four or five years later, they were on top of the lock. And that's where I met Tavo. And that's where his father and his mother and everybody, and I really want to almost celebrate his father and his mother tonight. Because if it wasn't for their dedication, and the Lily and Cedric and Ken, every time in my office. I don't want to, I mean, you all know the, the historical track record and, 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 and where Tavo has gone today, and I'm very proud that he's kept his humbleness and he's kept his composure, and he keep coming back to Neisner. They were at the Crossways, uh, the development there on Thursday, and they looked at it, and I said, Tabo, we can make an arrangement that all the commissions that come out of your circles will go back into the foundation. I'm happy to do that. So, uh, those of you that... Those of you that are interested in, in high-tech rural living, South Africa's first new town with fiber optic connections to each house. It's um, an agri-village, food, cattle, cows, and big bulls. <laughs> uh, but it's also close to PE, 25 minutes from Port Elizabeth. We're building a super stadium. We will be building a super sports field there. We're trying to get people to come there and have base camps there. It'll be another two or three years. But the first phase is up and running, uh, the infrastructure is in, and you're welcome to come and visit and look at it at any time. But uh, again, Tabu, congratulations on what you've achieved. Uh, it's 13 years since we started knowing each other, and I'm really proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tabu September. Good evening. Um, I was, I've, I've got a PA. I've got a PA in my system. <laughs> she's, she's my PA, so 
Uh, she wrote a speech for me, um, but just just listening to, to what everyone has been saying about about me and, and what I've been doing, and I thought, no, let me not let me not read uh, the speech to <laughs> Let me just speak from the heart, and um, and I will start with um, with with Doctor Doctor Mother. Um, you know when uh, it's it's people like Doctor Mother that make you. Uh, when you when you think you, you you're down and, and, and out and, and they lift you up and, and make you feel that you, you you've got so much to to work for uh, that you can do anything uh, and that there is a God. Uh, when when Doctor Mother explained about how he supported Nice Nabafana and uh, what he didn't mention is how he helped me uh, personally as well. Um, when I went to push parts, you know, the salary was not that good um, when I started playing and um, he was the, the person that was paying for my for my accommodation as well at push parts when I was staying in, in East London as well. So I would like to thank you and um, it did, it, it, uh, you know, you, you've, you've taught me so much uh, during the years that, um, that, that you have contributed into my life and I would, and I would like to do the same to to the kids, um, to, to everyone, actually treat everyone with the way you have treated um, me, and uh, thank you for that. <laughs> and of course, um, uh, my my parents. Um, yeah, this this night is for you. I know you know you 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 helped me be the person that I am today. Um, the whole family, you know it. it Sometimes when you when you leave your your home, um, you go to places like Joburg and and you are in the spotlight and it, it it teaches you to be humble as well because whatever that you do in Joburg or Cape Town or wherever you go, I think the soccer players will agree with this, is that you are in the spotlight and whatever you do always reflects to your family. So my parents have taught me to be to be humble, to to to, to respect and. and be able to, to, to give others um, um, a hand um, when in need. And um, I have to say, my, my, I, I was always jealous growing up. I think my brother was too. Um, you know, uh, my, my dad, every player that was coming, I think Mosul Bay, we were supporting Mosul Bay a lot because every player that was coming from Mosul Bay for Nice Nabafana, he would, he would take them to school. I mean, he would. I don't know how many guys we were staying with in the house those days, and um, he always um, make sure that education to, to every kid is there, you know, whatever that he could do, and um, I thank you for that. And um, my mom, um, you are my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, and um, family doesn't end there. I think um, um, Ms. Um, Honorable Mayor has, has shown the support that they've um, given to the to the Tower September tournament, and um, I, I would like to to thank the Nice Municipality for that and for always being there for us when we when we call on you for 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 anything regarding the kids. Um, and also, you know, um, the community of Naisna, because um, for me to be here today, I wasn't only raised by my, by my parents, you know, um, the next door neighbor and um, um, the, 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 the guy on the, on, the, on, the, on the corner, you know, always encourages me and, and, and all that. And I would like to thank you all in, in terms of contributing in, into my life. And I know I haven't achieved anything yet, so I would just... This is just a token, token of giving back, you know. And um, the 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 Tabo September tournament, we we started with it uh, in, in 2011, and um, the aim was to give back because of the way I, I I went. The process of me going to to the professional ranks was not easy, so it was a way of us giving of giving back to to the community and giving uh, the kids a, an easier opportunity to be recognized, but. Um, it, it just went fast for us, and um, 
last year we had, we had two kids, one from Mosul Bay and one from, from Plattenberg Bay, um, who were selected and now they are playing their trade and, and, and studying in, um, uh, in Pretoria with, with the Super Sport Academy. And, you know, that's, that's, that, that, that dream for us was for five years, we thought we could do that in five years and probably produce a kid that will go and play one of the academies. And um, we've done it in, in two years and we had two kids and um, that's all because of them. So we, we think we, we, we can do better. <laughs> we think we can do better. And that's why we, we started the foundation. The foundation will be the umbrella of, 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 of everything else. Everything will fall under the foundation. So uh, the foundation will be taking us um, to, to other borders. I mean, we, we will be focusing on sport, um, not only soccer, I mean, the cricket, rugby, and everything. But uh, there is so much that we can do as, as, as a community, I mean, and, and business people in terms of giving a better life to, uh, to, uh, to the young ones and also the ones that are, um, are disabled, um, HIV, and, and, and also life skills. You know, our, 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 the, young, the youth of today, you know, you go to school and you, you, you study so hard and you, you end up not getting a job, you know. And um, the foundation will be uh, a part where we'll be giving a life skills a program where we'll be teaching um, um, kids how to start and being your own uh, what, entrepreneurs and, and you, you, you start your own business. And we don't want you to, we don't want uh, the youth to, to be complaining about not having a job when, when we, we've got so, so much in our brains that we can use in terms of studying our own um, opportunities, you know. And being in job, it exposes you to such and seeing how the youth, you know, they grow so fast in terms of um, learning uh, in that side. And I thought, why not? We need money, for sure. But we don't need your money in terms of only, you know, we, we would need your skill. You, you share your, 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 the way you achieved your, your, your goals to, to, to the youth. I mean, if you can tell your secret, I mean, someone else is going to learn out of it and they, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, progress and they're gonna succeed in life if you share what, what, what you have in your, in your, in your mind. And um, this foundation has been established for that to just take uh, Southern Cape and put it into the map. Um, you know, when you go to Joburg, people, they ask you where is nice now. I mean, it's, it's sometimes it's, um, it's, it's, it's not nice, you, you know, you, you laugh at it when you first hear it, but as it goes on, you know, you know, you're coming from a beautiful place like this with beautiful people, and and they and they ask you where is nice, and you know, you know how you know how how how, how people from Nice and George, how, how also they play, you know how how hard workers we are, and yet we don't get the recognition. I would, I would like to to plea and, and ask for, for for the community and the businesses to to get involved in this uh, foundation. This is a way of giving back. To the community, I mean, we just want to be the, the vehicle that will support your, your initiatives. Uh, I hope we, we continue working hand in hand and um, appreciate you all. The you, time. Know, you know, everything that's been said here earlier about Utabo is 100% is correct. You know, you go to these things, people say things about someone like, Ish, what are you? I, 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 no, no, it's not like that. Utabo is every single thing that's been said here today. I was fortunate, I met U Tabo through one of my great friends, one of my closest friends, who was Musi Zozuma, one of the most humble people I've ever met in my life. He's a great uh, superstar in South Africa, but he's very down to earth. And I think U Tabo is every single thing that Musi so is, and I think that's what attracted me to him, to his parents. What you have here, South Africa is thankful for, not only on the football field, but as a friend, I can say, in his heart, now I have a lot of friends, but I've got very few close friends. When Tabo goes to Cape Town, he stays at my house. Not many people stay at my house. <laughs> so Mr. Zuma stays at my house. Not many people stay at my house. Tabo stays at my house because I like who he is. 
I don't like Utabo because he's a defender and captain of Super Sport United. I don't like Utabo because he played for Mafana Mafana. I like Utabo September because of what's in here. And I love what is in here. Because I think Utabo is who I try to be. He is very humble. He is very down to earth. And I love what he's especially doing now. We've spoken about it uh, previously, before he launched his foundation. You know, South Africa has a problem. We have many problems. But one of the ways to attack most of the problems is to address the youth in this country. We have an education crisis in this country. And I said to Tao when he spoke to me about his foundation is that, yes, it's sport, but it's going to be sport through education. You know, most people who are criminals in this country, it's not by choice. It's not because they want to go and kill and rob people. It's because they find themselves in a hard place with no money and they have to survive and they're forced to do bad things to survive. Now, if we address the education problem through sport, through the Tower September Foundation, that is where we're going to find most of our solutions, Dr. Muller. I thank you for what you've done in his life. I thank you for getting to where he is. And he's probably going to need not just yours, but the NISDA community as a whole. He is now going to need your support more than he's needed it before. Because now it's not about Tower September. It's about the youth and the children of NISNA and the surroundings. So he's going to be coming, I'm afraid, to ask for a lot more money. <laughs> because as I said, I've spoken before, I know he's got bigger dreams. He's got bigger projects that he wants to tackle. And it's every single one of us here that it has to play a role in his life to ensure that Tower September Foundation addresses the problems in South Africa in whatever small way. You know, a man who said once, there's only one way to eat an elephant in small pieces. It might start with the Tower September Foundation. But we as his friends are right behind him. Tabo knows. He knows that I've availed myself in other ways and, and to, uh, how to help. And it's, it's a challenge to every person here. How are we going to play a role in ensuring that the Tabo September Foundation changes this country? And it's not just about a soccer tournament. I promise you, there are bigger things. Uh, I firmly believe, and I know Tabo is probably thinking along those lines, that if you really want to do something about sport in this country, we've got to tackle at school level. Our kids go to school, they knock off at 2 o'clock, half past 2. They've got all the free time in the world to get it up to mischief. If we need to change something, it's got to start there. But Tabo, for me and my friends, and really this is not my message, comes from all those guys over there. You know, there's a perception that footballers are bad boys. <laughs> but it's really only a few people that are. I know every single person at that table over there. And I promise you all of them have a good heart. All of them are dedicated in what they do. And all of them are focused. And I know you've got their support. I know there's some that couldn't be here, Morgan Gold couldn't be here, George Malilega couldn't be here, Jabu Malilega couldn't be here, and many others that I'm sure when they see this and, and when they read about it, will continue to support you. I'm a Kawe in Cape Town, I am from Cape Town. I've got a mandate, I'm chairman of the Makawe, his friends in Cape Town. I have a mandate to say that, Tabo, we are with you today, and whatever help you need, you just shout. <laughs>